In this segment, we'll use GBW32 version 5 to model a cantilever beam. If you notice in the file options, I've chosen model node size and element size 2 and load size 2. In this view, this is the top view, I'll select node line and in this case we have a three foot long cantilever beam so I'm going to use eight nodes it's 36 inches long and I'll fit this and uh, it's a one inch schedule 40 pipe so I'm going to choose uh, material uh, the default material here is uh, number one and for geometry the default material is uh, schedule 40 pipe so I'll close this and save this in GBW 32 version 5 the material and geometry files are saved with the model file I'll apply a constraint at node 1 here it's constrained to six degrees of freedom and I'll apply a load at the end of the beam here of minus 40 pounds that represents a light fixture and I'll right mouse click uh, node IDs and element IDs, the properties, notice by default we create beam elements, material one, geometry one. And I'll turn off the node IDs. I'll uh, analyze this. And first I'll animate it. And as you can see the animation looks pretty good. Under uh, displacement uh, I can check the displacement and uh, we can look at the uh, stress results. We can see a maximum stress at the wall of 10,891 pounds per square inch. And I'll use the information here to check the deflection. And the deflection is uh, good. Uh, notice here we have a deflection of uh, a quarter of an inch. So this, uh, this is exactly what we'd want. We want the maximum bending stress, the deflection at the end, and we see that this, this model behaves the way we would expect.